I've been in my van now for a year, right? My trailer broke down last December and I've been living in my van pretty much since that time. Now, there was a, a, a two and a half month time where I did not uh, sleep in the van. I was, you know, renting hotels when I was going out to the West Coast, which uh, I spent way too much money and it was not worth it. I want to do that again where I kind of do the hotel thing, but not for two and a half months. That was fucking ridiculous. So I've been in the van and I like sleeping in the van. I, 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 I like the fact, the one thing I do like about not having a trailer is I feel like I can drive, like I, I could pretty much drive like, you know, to locations more quickly. Cause when I have a trailer and it's kind of weighing me down, I tend to not drive as greater distances as if I'm just driving this van. So about, I want to say, what is it? Maybe November-ish last month, uh, I started kind of getting burnt out on the whole van thing. When I was in Indiana, it got really cold for about four days where it was like in the high 20s at night, which it's fine in the van. Like I've actually slept in this van. Uh, the coldest was about uh, it was like two or three nights where it was like 18, 19, 16 degrees, right? When I was in Missouri. So that sucks. Like I, it could be done, but it's very uncomfortable. So I'm getting like a little bit burnt out, right? So I started kind of looking for a trailer. Couldn't really find anything, blah, blah, blah. And you know, yeah, I have another van and another trailer, but I'm just, I'm not sold on if I really want to go that route with converting it just because the trailer is just a little too wide, I just don't like it's it's a little wider than what I really want, right? But it's perfect size because I can fit in the space. Um, it'll hold all my stuff, and um, that'll be you know that if if I get that trailer converted, that will be the only trailer I ever need. I would never need another trailer bigger or smaller. Like it's the perfect size except for the width of it. So I've been like looking on Facebook and Craigslist for a, a small trailer that my van can pull. I don't want like a big trailer. It has to be really, really small. Uh, the trailer must weigh under with all my stuff. I prefer it weigh under 1500 pounds and that's it. So I've been looking all over Facebook and Craigslist. Um, I've been looking, check this out. This is where I would be willing to drive to, to buy one. I would be willing to go as far east as Tennessee, far west as West Texas, far north as Iowa, and south, of course, Texas, which is, you know, uh, basically, um, I'm right by there. So I've been looking on, on Marketplace, right? And you guys probably don't know this because you may not be looking for this, or maybe some of you guys, like, you know, you've been thinking about living in a van or, or an RV, or maybe you do and you watch my channel, I don't know. But I don't know why in the living hell these teardrop trailers that people either they build them themselves or they buy them from somebody who built it themselves or they buy it from a manufacturer, whatever the case might be. I don't know for the life of me why in the living fuck anybody would want to buy one of those damn things. Uh, sorry, Chaser, no offense, but okay, come on, it's like... Uh, teardrop trailer I mean, it is what it is I, ho I hope you do get to use it soon anyways but for me and because I'm a big guy and I need to be comfortable a, a teardrop trailer is just it's it's all it is is a fucking bed it's just a bed in a little tiny trailer and I would go insane I think if I would e even try to sleep in one but then again I don't know because I've never been inside of one but I'm noticing that all these assholes that are selling teardrop trailers, it's one of two. Uh, they either, they build them and then they just, they try to ask like some insane, stupid price, hoping that some dumbass buys them. No offense, Chaser, if, uh, you know, if you bought yours for a, a ridiculous price, I don't know, it's none of my business. But they're either buying, they're either selling these ridiculous trailers for these, these fucking dumb prices or they their price is is decent but the trailer is completely shit. And then you got the other people who did who they built the trailer but they're not in the shape of a teardrop. They're like basically a box shape, which is what I'm looking for. Every cocksucker out there that I've seen their ad, they're looking 
they're, they're selling their trailers for a, a price that I'm like, dude, fuck, are you insane? I Hell no, I wouldn't pay that. There's one guy who's selling his trailer for a decent price that still has it. He's in St. Louis, and I don't feel like driving out there because, uh, you know, listen, again, I could go. It doesn't matter where I go because I can work wherever I go. So uh, if I go to St. Louis, okay, cool, I'll go. I'll go do a couple vlogs. I, I actually want to kind of go to St. Louis because I totally forgot about a story that I wanted to do when I was out there and I'm pissed off. And, you know, right now would be a great time to go because all throughout this week, it's going to be in the 50s or like high 40s, low 50s. So, uh, you know, I, I don't, but right now I'm in Oklahoma City. Uh, I, I think I'm about, I, I'm, I'm going to guess from St. Louis to Oklahoma City, what is it, 400 miles? Okay, not 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 that not that big of a deal for me to drive to go look at something, right? The trailer that the guy has, it's a little bit smaller than what I want. I prefer a 10-foot trailer. His I think is eight feet, but his price is really good. And uh basically all if I buy if I buy that trailer, all I would need is somebody to put in an air conditioner and build a bed. That's it. Maybe build like a little tiny desk, but I don't even think so. Just just that right and so i'm just thinking like okay should i go out to st louis because it's actually starting to drive me a little bit batty now i'm probably going to relax uh once i get uh i don't know what i don't fucking know uh, i he, like i don't want to spend five thousand dollars on something that when i'm ready to sell it i'm not i'm not even going to get half for it. you know what i mean uh you know, I can't sell anything because like, what am I going to do? Like, like wait in a town for a month while a bunch of douchebag turd burglars lowball me every time. No, I don't want to do that. So it's like, I would have to like leave it at a consignment place or something like that and let them deal with it. And I don't care about use, losing money. I'm not going to pay $6,000 for a stupid ass little tiny trailer. And all of the trailers that I see that it, that they're an okay price that I'd be willing to pay. They're all north. You know, it's 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 getting cold in Iowa. It's getting cold in South Dakota. And I actually seen. It's so funny. If anybody, I'll, I will. My personal experience. If anybody is looking for a a trailer or a camper or something like that, if you want a good price, you're gonna have to go up north. You know, because I've seen them at good prices all year long. And it's like down south, everybody it sells their shit way more expensive than what it is up north. Yeah, I know. You probably got some rust issues or whatever. Not always the case, but sometimes you got rust. What are you going to do? I only need a trailer for, I'm not going to lie. I'm thinking it'll be for the year. Like I, by the time I get further away from Texas, I'm not going to want to come back and get that trailer and van and, and then redo it, uh, we'll get it started or, or whatever. Now, however, um, I, I might, I might take the van and the trailer out for a weekend just to kind of see how I would like it driving around with it, not go too far, just kind of go around the Metroplex or what have you. But, um, right now I'm just like, should I just go to South Dakota? Cause somebody has a trailer. It was 2,300 bucks. And it doesn't have an AC, but, you know, I, I don't care. Uh, but do I really want to go to South Dakota? Because right now, believe it or not, the weather isn't crazy cold. I think the I think the weather, let me see what the weather was like. Um, I forgot what city it was in. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, 37. That ain't bad. I'll, I'll take 37 degrees. Uh, I could I could do 37 uh low 22 so uh, yeah a little bit cold at night but I can I can bear with it. So do I really want to drive here's the problem though. South Dakota's not that close. I think I'm about what is it about 600 miles north? Do I really want to go up there right now? I mean, it ain't going to snow. There's no storms that I can see, but I don't know. I I but so check this out. Like everybody is selling their trailer for stupid prices. And, you know, and that's fine. You know, you could just sit on the trailer and, you know, do nothing with it, you know, and I'm, and, and of course, you know, what, what am I going to do? Oh, and then, and then to top this off. So some, some broad, some broad, she's very close to here, right? She has like, um, uh, she has something that I, I want to buy, right? Uh, she has, uh, uh a couple of, uh, old, old newspapers, right? <laughs> newspapers. 
and um, uh, and a couple magazines like old style. Like uh, I like uh, I like reading the old um, like the old uh, tabloid magazines, you know, like Sun or whatever, uh, anything like that. And so she has a couple of these magazines, and I and I, and I want them. Uh, I like reading them, and I just toss them or whatever. And so she has an ad, and I said, "Hey, I said, I said, how many of those do you have?" And she says several. And I said, what I wanted to know is how many do you have? Because I I would probably buy all of them. And I don't want to drive like an hour and a half, you know, in a direction that I have no intention of driving to for you to tell me that you only have three. People are so fucking stupid. Oh, my God. My head's hurting of the stupidity. I don't know. You know, is, is there anybody out there? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to find a trailer. Uh, I, I think what it is is I just, I'm probably going to be in the van for a second straight year. And it's like, I don't want to buy another van because I already have one. I just, I don't want to drive that van right now. I just don't want to drive it. You know, I, I, I'm comfortable with this van. This van has plenty of life left in it. And I just need to find a little tiny trailer so I can have like a little tiny bed and a little tiny desk and just so I can work. That's all I'm asking for in life. A little tiny trailer and a little tiny, little tiny desk. 